Hey everybody, how you doing? I'll be talking about the movie The Possession from 2012. And this movie stars Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Um, I think I didn't review this movie when I started YouTube long ago from another brand account name I had before. And I thought I did review this anyway. I said like my archival blogs in the past like I did with other uh, older movie reviews I have done. But, um, excuse me, The Possession for 2012, the one with Jeffrey Dean Morgan in it. I'm sure this slews a movie with this title, The Possession. <laughs> um, it's a demonic horror movie, pretty much an excess ripoff, but with a twist. They kind of make these version kind of different. Instead of Catholicism, they use Jewish uh, religion as the theme of this movie. And the theme is pretty much like Jewish relation to the culture, I would say. And if you know the history of the debuck box, um, that's the, also the theme of this movie. Um, the movie's about these two couples getting a divorce, and um, the father spent the cab the kids spent time with the father, and the and back and forth with the mother, and when they spend time with the dad, they um drove around, and they stopped at this yard set sale, and um the this his daughter wanted the debug box without knowing what the box could do, when she opened the box, that's when stuff started going crazy for her. The girl slowly becoming possessed. She's seeing things. Her sister, even the father, seeing things, and knows that the daughter, the youngest daughter, is acting strangely. As the movie progresses, it kind of leads to violence. And as it goes further, the father realizes, "Hey, I need, I need some help." And he realizes he got to go to this guy who practices Jewish, who's Jewish, a young, the son of a Jewish uh, rabbi, to help him out to get rid of this demon, to get rid of this demon from the girl. Um, all in all, I, the movie does have drama elements, and the acting is good. That's what, to me, took this movie not being bored. Because Jeffrey Dean Morgan is a good actor, you know. Let's be real. And he, when he's on when he's on screen, you you be captivated by his performance. You know, no matter if it's a bad movie or a good movie. So I feel like Jeffrey Dean Morgan did save the movie for me here. And I, I mean, I did like the movie. It, it, it was alright. I mean, it's just, it's just not nothing new, though, to be honest with you. But I just feel like the Jewish theme kind of worked. It was something different with that concept and the D-Box box myth mythology. You know how this is also a true story, you know? Because it is a true story about the D-Box box that a guy brought. And you can check out the documentaries on YouTube about his story. But, um, all in all, especially, all in all, I did enjoy, enjoy this movie, but it's nothing new at the same time. Um, especially with the possession scene, especially when the exorcism starts for the little girl to get rid of the demon. I thought that was pretty cool how it was, how it was set up. And the ending, of course, has a little twist, of course. And um, the possession actually, from 2012, I'd say check it out and give this one a chance. Anyway, over and out. And if you're a Jeffrey Dean Morgan fan, um, there's another horror movie he did a couple years later called The Unholy from 2021. Not to be confused with the other Unholy from the 80s. But um, I actually like that movie. I actually like that movie. I thought it was enjoyable too. Kind of like the possession also. Kind of have the same vibe and energy as that. And you go also check that review here on my channel or on my podcast. Anyway, over and out. Peace.